Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to part two. <clears throat> um, how's your base going if you've been building one? Um, been plodding along on this one. It hasn't taken real long, about half an hour like with video time, but I've been in sort of maybe an hour or so. But the part I'm up to now is <clears throat> because I want to sort of display a deserty sort of camo. Well, just desert sort of scene. Uh, I mixed up some of these cheap oil paints, so I put a little bit on the old pizza table and what I've been doing is just been putting a little bit in um, little random areas like such and um, then getting my humbrol thinners on a no brush and working this back into the cracks again so we sort of trying to get a sandy sort of a a look um, as well. Um, what I've also done is you'll see some little patches of green, like little green pieces of moss. That was some of the parts that um, were sort of jagged up from the cardboard effect, which I was after. So. Um, I've done some of that. <clears throat> a couple of the other ones I'll add uh, the um, <clears throat> maybe a couple of different shades of green. I'm not too sure yet, but we we'll just don't want to go too far with it. Um, so yeah, I'll keep plodding along with this, and and then we'll we'll see um, when I come back how it uh, how it looks like and. Um, Give it a flat coat, we will, and um, well, we'll sit the Apache on it. Might sit something on it and see what it looks like. But uh, what do you guys think anyway? Do you think it's uh, looking all right? Um, I don't want to go steering you guys up a uh, up the proverbial creek without a paddle in a barbed wire canoe. Now, yeah. that's a good old Australian saying. Um, and these things too, you don't have to weather them up. You can make this as nice um, and clean. It could be like a brilliant, perfect runway. Um, so this is the other thing while I'm here. These brushes I've got from Bunnings. Um, I bought a couple of different, two, two sizes. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back and buy some more because... Uh, Shorten the handles up, you can if you want to, then you've got a good steering stick with what you want left over, but I sort of like this long handle. Um, they're in their crafty department at Bunnings, and um, I, um, I'm quite impressed with them actually, they're not a bad uh, not a bad paintbrush, and I sort of used and abused them, and I have tried them brush painting a few things on actual model aircraft themselves, and the tips are quite are quite um, are quite good so but yeah that's what we're up to so far we're sort of just um, actually I'm pretty happy with that now I don't want to go too far um, actually there's got one two little spots that I want to do there another one there put this in there um, missed a bit there so we'll spread these around, spread the love. And, uh, just work them in and with these um, little oil paints, they don't, I, I, this is the colour I used to put the wash over the Apache with, it was sort of like what I have left over from a deserty sort of, uh, a deserty sort of wash, so I don't know, um, thought I'd better use it on a display basis, otherwise it's going to look um, a little bit different so I'll put that to dry you guys will be uh, me, I will be gone for a little while but um, for you guys I'll be back straight away, oh, I'll put a couple little fresh oil, oil marks there and we've got a little bit of chipping in etc etc so um, I think the effect of the uh, broken concrete and the oil marks and everything have sort of come up in the cracks in the concrete. I'm quite happy with the the broken concrete effect that we've ended up getting and it's not too bad and um, I worked out that 
you can build a base like this and use some cheap paints and you can use craft paints on I, I um the only reason I used that one is because it was there but you can buy the little acry acrylic craft paints sets and and uh to use this so you don't have to um you know go using your paint out of your thing so I, I don't know the craft shops are available but yeah um so I'll let this dry and We'll get some flat cut over it and we'll come back for a final look see. Um said so I might not do anything to the grass yet, but we'll see what it looks like after the flat coat. Cheers. Rightio, so I've mixed my floor polish in a jar with some Tamiya flat base to make my dull coat. Um, and I've been brushing it along. Now what you'll notice when you start doing that is you will um, notice you'll, you'll see the colour change straight away. So you, what you you think uh, it, does, it will just sort of naturally start to blend in, um, and you'll just see everything sort of tied together as you go. Um, And um, when it starts dulling off all the different effects, because when you've done it now, like all the different effects are sort of being flat, shiny, um, semi-gloss, you will find that they all become one in colour or in effect, um, and that's what. That's what we're after. Everything just starts to pop. So I'll finish giving this a couple of uh, coats of flat, let it dry off, and then go to my favourite part, which is like a little bit of weathering with uh, some pastels, like uh, ground pastels, which I'll show you in the next little part of the video. Um, don't forget guys, if you have any questions or you get stuck on something, I don't mind going back through um, and demonstrating what we did. Uh, but with your cardboard, make sure the grainier bit of old cardboard the better. And something a little bit thick too because it will warp up, so that's why we have to glue it down. But once it goes back in the frame, it wouldn't look too bad. It beds itself all down. So I'll finish this off and uh, I will catch you in the next little bit. Right, I'm back. See, I'll show you my high tech pastel weathering kit. Da da. Um, yeah. Uh, you see, the black's almost gone, but I've got some white, um, some blue and some brown and some green so what we'll do is we um i'm just going to put sandpaper dedicated for the thing in there and when we get back to the base we will be um just sort of trying to get some sort of dusty effect i don't know if that sounds right but we'll mix some colors together um and we'll try to get some sort of dusty effect and then when the pastels go down again it's sort of flattens it down again and gives it that sort of um, oh, not three dimensional but sort of like a realistic feel but you'll you'll know what I mean right you so I just put some of the blue pastel on um, just ground bit on the sandpaper and what I was going to do is just and it's hard to tell is just on a couple of random squares I'll put a little bit down and then I will scrub it into a couple of spots, um, just random, and then just brush it off lightly. And it will give some sort of different appearance to the concrete in the blue. So I will go around and do a few and um, see what the result's like before we run out of time, because we don't really want a third video. So. I'll get back to you soon. 
Rio, so I just forgot the pastels and um, I worked up some browns just to go in some of the other little spots. Um, just put a little bit on the brush and then I um, sort of worked them in the area. And then once I get them where I want, I saw a bit more just heavy and heavier sort of um, uh, a bit of pressure and just working them in where I want them to go and then just flip them out of the way so at this stage I am uh, pretty happy with that I won't go anymore um, a little voice in my head has just said um, that uh, we've just about gone far enough um, there's only one more thing I will do is as soon as I find out what I've done with it my little green grass that I have put in there, I'll just hit them with a little bit of gloss coat um, just to make uh, another sort of variation in the finish so my little tiny brush, I'll just give them a bit of a dab a bit of the uh, floor polish like such and to make them look like it's sort of a liveish green and what else I'll do is there's a oil stain there that got flattened off so I'll put a little bit of on here and we'll make that one look a, a fairly fresh one. So we'll let that dry off, we'll put it in the frame and we'll bang the chopper on it. So we put the chopper back on and I think the result isn't too bad. Um, we've got a frame that we've, or a nice base we've made for two bucks, two bucks fifty roughly. Um, now I know there's some nice ones out there from coastal kits and things like that, but um, if you build one yourself it's going to be unique. No one to copy it. You'll come up to a um, model display at a show or something like that and bang that down and they'll say, where'd you buy that from? And you'll say, I made it. So, but you can, you know, it's, it's not just suitable for the desert scheme, you know, we, it looks good. Um, we could park German plane on it. Um, I know it's supposed to be grass runways in England, but, you know, it's quite nice to put a hurry on it. Which I've, um, and I've also got another airfix kit, which I built. A fair while ago. Um, this one hasn't been out of the bottle, out of the cupboard for a while, which is uh, my sort of fourth or fifth kit that I've sort of built since I got back into the hobby, which is the um, the old Airfix Lynx. Um, so even that doesn't look out of place on it um, and uh, you know, once you set it up you can put some ground crew on it or around it or different things I know with the Apache I wanted to set it up um, I wanted to set it up with some ladders and stuff around it not ground crew because I can't find any ground crew but um, yeah, that's it. That's the $2.50 display base. I hope you enjoyed the uh, two-part video. Um, and I said, have a go. I mean, you're not going to damage the frame. All you're going to do is muck around with a bit of cardboard. So, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Um, I hope this helps some people out uh, to build your own little custom concrete runway. And it's virtually the same with your grass. We'll do a grass on one time too. The Battle of Britain build that's going to happen with one of the Mr. Smiths. So, I'll catch you on the flip side. Be good. Model hard.